Hi guys, it's Kai and welcome back to my channel. So I've recently been getting some questions on how I take care of my wigs when they're not on my head. Um, and in particular, how I wash my wigs. You know, I don't really like to wash my wigs that often, not for any specific reason, just that I'm lazy. But I have a wig here that's in desperate need of a good wash. This was the one I wore in my carry tutorial where I poured blood all over myself. So I'm gonna be washing this thing today. And since so many of you guys seem to be curious about how exactly I do it, I'm gonna walk you guys through every step of the way. Okay, so I'm situated at my little sink slash wash basin with this big bucket that I can easily dump out and so I can keep the hair in one place instead of letting it get caught in the drain. You're gonna start filling it up with some lukewarm water until you can submerge the hair in it and then put in some laundry detergent. I use this stuff because it's cheap, it's gentle, it smells good. Now, unless your wig is made of human hair, you don't need to use fancy shampoos because it's essentially just made out of plastic. And as you can see, I just dunk the hair right in and you can see all of the fake blood coming right out. I'm dumping the water and rinsing it again and again until the water looks clean. Obviously, I want to be rid of all the fake blood, but there's also hairspray and dirt and sweat, depending on how long it's been since I last washed it. After it's pretty clean, I like to add some hair conditioner. You can probably use less than I did, but I like how it makes the hair feel a little bit softer. You could probably use like a fabric softener too, but I just had this in my washroom. It was like $2. You'll see as I'm washing it, I like to swirl the wig around, but I also make sure to grip it firmly on the cap and wring it from root to tip, never any other way. This way the wig is least likely to tangle up because you're holding it as one unit and you're not letting the hairs go all over the place. When I'm done with the rinsing process, I wrap it in a towel. Again, I'm not curling it up, but I'm keeping the hairs long so they don't tangle up, and this will take out most of the dripping water. I'll show you the last step later on, but here I want to show you guys how to clean your lace. The last wig I showed you was pretty new and the lace was pretty clean, but this one I wore out and glued down so you can see there's a ton of glue and face paint build up on that lace. Like the last time, I'm getting some warm soapy water, but this time I'm only submerging the lace of the wig, or at least just the cap. And that's just because I don't need to wash the rest of the hair. With my fingers, I'm just rubbing the lace where that prosate is that I used to attach the wig, and as you can see, it's all starting to break down. I am using hot water here. A lot of people have said to use cold water because it preserves the hairstyle, but I tend to feel that hot water gives me a more thorough wash, and in this case, it helps to break down and soften the glue. And if I'm washing the wig, I'm likely restyling it anyway, so I don't really care if the heat of the water loosens any curls. Anyway, I'm using a toothbrush now to get rid of the last pieces of the glue residue that seem to have been stuck in the lace. This method is effective because the hairs of the toothbrush can get into those holes of the lace and clean it really thoroughly. If your lace is just stained in makeup and not prosaic, you'll find it a lot easier to clean, but I wanted to show you guys examples with two of my dirtiest wigs so you know what to do. But also, if your wig is not a lace front, then you can just disregard this entire part. Anyway, going back to the first wig that I washed and rinsed and towel dried, I like to let my wigs dry on this doorknob and I just lay a towel down underneath. This way, all of the water drips down through the wig while I leave it to dry overnight. And that, you guys, is pretty much how I wash my wigs. Keep in mind, by the way, that this process is really only for synthetic hair. I wouldn't really know how to go about washing human hair wigs, but I'm assuming that you would just use normal hair products. Sorry this video was, like, kind of all over the place, but I hope you guys learned something cool today. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know down in the comments what else you want me to show you, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!